For me, digging up past electronics is the same as looking up old entries in a diary. It's a window into the person you once were, your interests, and where you were in life at that point in time. So I always like to check out uh, retro reviews for this reason. So today we're taking a closer look at the Intel Pocket Concert here at OS Reviews. This is a very early uh, MP3 player or digital audio player. In fact, it only had 128 megabytes of built-in storage, which is a far cry from, you know, 128 gigs you might have on high-end flagship phones these days. Uh, it's made out of aluminum. It's fairly chunky, as you can see here, the same size, I would say, as a uh, as almost a small uh, phone, maybe with a 2.8-inch screen. So we've definitely come a long way in terms of how tech has uh, become smaller uh, and also more efficient. Anyways, when this device was first released, it sold for about 100 bucks, so it wasn't uh, too expensive in the world of mp3 players uh, compared to things like the iPod but it was also much more restrictive in terms of what you could do uh, it just has the ability to play back over four hours of audio there was a digital FM radio which otherwise that's the extent of the functions you have on on this uh, uh, 128 megabyte mp3 player by Intel. Um, other features that they wanted to advertise at the time of its release was really just that great audio experience that you get from quote crystal clear skip proof experience on here. So um, again compared to I guess competitors that might have used a hard drive based design as opposed to this uh, flash drive or SSD um, obviously that you know it's a bit likelier to skip tracks if you accidentally drop you know something like an older iPod compared to something like this which has uh, less moving parts. Um, otherwise, audio quality at the time was, uh, you know, as expected. It's not anything too much better than, you know, a standard phone uh, that we might have today. That's because it's still not as great as a dedicated audiophile grade MP3 player, but it was a low cost alternative. Anyway, its formats that it supported include WMA and of course MP3, and again, it had that monochromatic black and white screen. So that's essentially it uh, as far as the design is concerned. Again, just this black and white display, easy play pause key, oversized controls for skip tracks, as well as a dedicated power switches on the sides, um, data sync cable on the sides, uh, as well as volume controls in the very top. So a pretty standard layout and intuitive uh, yeah, controls. But again, a lot, a lot, a lot larger than what we see from just a regular MP3 player by today's standards. It's uh, almost as big as a smartphone, which is you know really just an indicator of how far we've gone as far as a smartphone and technology in general. So thanks for watching this uh, look back, throwback view of the uh, you know Intel pocket mp3 player here at OS Reviews, and you can check out our original article on this on our website, but this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS.